I'm, I'm not connected to the network here. Okay, we're called meeting to order the June 26, 2024 Park and Rec Commission meeting. Sarah, could you do roll call, please? I sure can. Lloyd Graycheck. Here. Laura Greenlee Carp. Here. David Andron. Here. Ben Hansen is excused. Ingrid Kohler. Here. Sue Springborn. Here. Zer Sarah Zaraka is on her way. Um, and Cassidy Schweer is excused absent. Okay. We have a we have a quorum. We need a motion to adopt the agenda. I make a motion. Dave makes a motion. Second. I second it. Sue seconds. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Approval of the minutes, May 22nd, 2024. I make a motion to approve. Dave makes a motion. Second. I'll second. Ingrid seconds. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Approval of the minutes of the June 25th, 2024 workshop. I'll make a motion. Uh, Didn't we just do that? Dave. No, we did the May 22nd. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so Lloyd makes a motion. Dave, second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Anybody on the Zoom? Nope. Anybody from the public? Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, then we'll move right along to a uh, bench at Southwood. Yes. So we mentioned at the last couple of meetings about... Um, potentially purchasing a bench for a memorial for Kathy Trundle. Um, we do have a bench that is available for installation now um, at Public Works. Um, the only thing that we would be responsible for is the purchase of a plaque. Um, so if we do want to move forward with that, yes, if we do want to move forward with that, the cost of the plaque is $310. Um, that includes the plaque and the setup fee. Um, so if we would like to discuss that and vote for it, we certainly can. If we want to discuss placement, um, however you want to go with that. How are we funding the, the bench itself? Uh, the bench was already purchased by the city and it was going to go in Southwood okay. anyway. So Got it. Yes. Does the plaque have to meet specific requirements? Yes. Oh, okay. So we have to use this vendor? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm for it. You want to make a motion? Well, has anybody contacted the task force? No, which I can do if we are all on board to yeah, cause I, purchase it from our side. I talked to Daryl. He, he hasn't gotten back to me, uh, and I don't know if they've already raised some funds for some of this. Uh, I mean, they were disappointed that they couldn't pick out their own bench and stuff, but they're, they're willing to abide by... Um, our ruling and the city's ruling. So I think it would be good news, but I think we ought to at least reach out to Daryl, who's in charge of the task force over there, and get a little bit more feedback. But other than that, I think we should go forward with replacing the bench. Um, I know that it would be better to have this embossed into the concrete at the time of setting it. So I think once we talk to the task force, we can get our approval and, you know, now with that said, are they um, able to put their own wording on the plaque or is it something we have to do? I think that would be kind of up to, I guess, you guys if you would rather have the wording on there or if you'd rather see the task force create the wording that would just need to be submitted to me so I can get it ordered. So however you want yeah. to see that work. I think we should, at this point, moving forward, go ahead and replace, or plan on replacing the bench. Let's find out what kind of wording they want on the plaque so we can get that embossed in the concrete so it's more of a permanent thing so we can't just take it out. So, um, Hold on. It sounds like there's stipulations about the plaque. Yeah, the okay. plaque well, has to be a certain Laura. plaque that's screwed into the... Laura. Dave, when you're done, I'm going to Laura. Sure. Well, I'm just, but we're not etching it in concrete, right? No, it goes on it's, the bench. It's no, on it's, the it's a brass. There's two ways they can mount it. They can, we can either put the bench in now, have it set, you know, the bench in the concrete like they're supposed to, and then put the plate, the plaque later on top where it would be bolted on or embossed in the concrete. So as they're doing the cement work, 
for the bench, they put it in at that time so it's permanently in the concrete. But I don't know if that's even an option. Yeah, they've been screwing them in. They've yeah. been doing the first option okay. to all of them now. When I talked to Public Works, that's what they told me. When I started to find out what their policy was on the benches, mm -hmm. and that's what uh, Public Works informed me of. Okay. I think it depends, Dave, though, because like the ones that are at Casey Lake, they're a printed on plastic plaque for which you can't really put that in concrete because it'll fade direct sunlight. Yeah. Yeah. The ones we had before all those parameters were met were brass plaques. Brass and, and so brown. them being in, it was a little different story. So I think we don't have a choice on whatever this is. So I'd say if it's not a brass or something that can go in the concrete, if it's plastic, we don't want it in because it can crack based on the, right. like, yeah. We, so we, I wouldn't recommend that anyway. So I would just go with whatever recommendation the city says we have to do, and knowing that consistent. that's better, but that's, we may not have a choice. And is consistent with what the other benches look like because that's half the reason we're replacing the benches. Is so they consistent. have everything in the city uniform. Yeah. So with that said, I think I mean if there's some wording or something they want on the plaque, but if it's if we our only option is to put it in after, then there's no rush on that. So and if that's the case, I mean I have no problem making a motion to to put up three hundred and ten dollars towards the plaque, but like I said, it's, I think we gotta go forward and if it's gonna be after, the sooner we get a new bench in, the better. You make a motion whenever you I want. made a motion now to okay. go forward with installing the bench and also um, spending up to $310 for the plaque. From? From the park and rec. Do we need Second. to do we need to say like three hundred and fifty dollars just in case there's a couple of extra something? Uh, I confirmed with the vendor this morning that it's three ten, so I think we're okay. safe with that. Okay. Yep. So it's three ten. Second. I second. Laura seconds discussion. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed. Passed. All right. Park assignments. Yes, this one is a little bit more fun. So I was going through. <laughs> um, I was going through uh, some notes from Jill um, that she had left, and I see that there was some park assignments that had been um, given out previously. So it looked like each of you were representing parks or had represented parks in the past. Um, and I just wanted to clean up that list. So what you see in the packet is what we had. Obviously, there's a commissioner on there that is at least no one of them is no longer on there. Um, so if we want to assign make clarifications on who's representing which park. And I, I would like to propose that moving forward to if um, each month, if there's, if you guys could go out like once a month here, assign parks, take a look, come back and report, see what's going on. Um, if there's anything that you have questions on, I can relay that to the right people. Um, but I just wanna make sure that we have, everybody has a, some parks that they want to represent here, or if you don't, that's fine too, so. Um, or if you're good with where your name is on here, that's fine too. We can keep it. Aren't, aren't you uh, McKnight too, Laura? Um, I don't. I'm gonna look at the list. Oh. Oh, sorry. I'm good. Housing and Rotary. I know nothing about Rotary Park, <laughs> and we don't even own it. Yeah. So I, I can also. <laughs> <laughs> Same with the Vets Park. We don't own Rotary. No, so, the Rotary owns it. So we don't need a rep for the Vets Park? It, I, Is that right? Is that why it's N-A, yeah. not F? I'm not sure. Do you know, Sarah, it, the the vet, Veterans Park, do we not need one? Um, I don't think so, but I've concluded on here just in case there was other opinion on it. I don't think we own it. Um, same with Rotary, but I wasn't sure. There are parts of it we maintain. So like at Rotary Park, we maintain the bathrooms but it's not our park. Mm -hmm. Veterans, we do a lot of the greenery, greenscape there, but we don't own it. So I didn't know if people wanted to represent it or not. We certainly don't have to. I think it seems very well represented by community members who, are, yeah. who, yeah. who created it. Yeah. Um, so Perfect. Um, I don't feel like, I mean, I would feel like. <laughs> Should we just go through and, so I've moved since this initial list. So what happens well for me is the ones already had, I actually live next to now. So Colby Hills and Urban Ecology Center are like right next to my house. Okay. So why don't I take those two? 
Okay. Um, I know Ben isn't here to defend himself, but he lives <laughs> on Casey Lake. <laughs> so naturally, he probably is at that park a lot. Um, mm -hmm. And okay. he told me he goes there a lot with his kids. So maybe he would be okay to take Casey from me. That just leaves Polar open if somebody's closer to Polar. But So we're, re we're, re we're eliminating Rotary from our list? Yeah, so I yeah, can okay. take Polar. Okay. You want Polar? Okay. Let me figure out okay. where it is. Sue, so you, so you still on Northwood? The weird yeah, parking lot in Casey. Okay. The back Laura's got housing, right? Straight on that road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's you got on housing still? And Sarah's got the next two. And Great shot. Sue, you got tower. Mm -hmm. Okay. Quick night. Lloyd. Laura, did you? That was me and uh, I thought, Laura, you were on there too. Sure, I'm happy to be on there. Yeah, I mean, I'm not on any of these. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 And I don't need Where do you live? You, you live near Southwood. Yeah. yeah. Um, I live right next to Southwood. Well, you can join me. Yeah, well, we both can be on it. I mean, I could, um, I could be also on McKnight. I mean, I know a few of the people at the district center and stuff like that yet. So, I, if you want, I could go on McKnight. And Southwood. And I can be on Southwood too. Okay. okay. So it's me and you on McKnight. Are you on? You're doing McKnight too. I don't need to. Okay. Then I'll take McKnight with Dave. It just, and it just means that you bring any topics mm -hmm. to us. Yeah, yeah. No. we'd look at it, see if there's any repairs or any issues, uh, those kind of things. All right, so you and I got Southwood, you and I got McKnight. Ingrid, you good with Silver yeah. Lake? Yeah, Silver Lake and then Dorothy Park. Sarah, you so. still want Casey? Or we just, nope, we already talked about this. Do so Ben, ben, ben okay. will take Casey and I'm gonna take Artie's. I'm gonna take Colby Hills and Urban Ecology Center just because it's easier for me to get to those. Yep. Ingrid, you're taking Polar? Yep. Or no. Or I'm sorry, Dorothy? Yes. And then you had Polar, Laura? Yeah. Okay. And vets were leaving open, correct? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Wait, who has Polar? Me. Oh. So okay. I, I dropped off um, Rotary right. and hopped onto Polar. Got it. Because we can't do anything with it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> As it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Ingrid will still be Dorothy. Mm hmm. Sarah, are we good on yeah, that? We We're great, that. yes. Okay. okay. I'm just trying to get my list. Uh, reports from the staff. I'm going to go to Sarah. Yeah, yes. Um, so yeah. as you can see in the um, packet, again, I got some updates from Public Works. So I'll just go through those quickly. Um, if you've been by Casey and you see that there's a, a new structure near the parking lot that looks like fencing, that will be an enclosure for trash. They've never had... Um, trash pickup there forever they've been hauling it back to public works to get it taken so they are installing this um they are just waiting on slats to si slide into the fencing so it doesn't look so open and ugly oh, um nice. and then they'll start using it so yeah it'll look a lot better than it does now in the weird fence in the middle <laughs> yes um Housey park the the everything is almost done um they're just waiting for the um blacktop to cure and then they'll put the um, stripes on it and put the nets on and then we'll be pretty much ready to go um, and they're just waiting for the grass to grow there um, seems like people are getting a little antsy to use the field so I don't know if the grass will have a little bit of a hard time growing but um, it looks really nice so if you haven't been by it I would encourage you to yeah, people um, are very excited yeah. about pickleball very excited yeah yes, they really how are. many courts are going to be in there again I just looked at it it's four four, four. Mm -hmm. yeah and are they um North south facing? I believe I so. I think so. Yep. Yes. We were worried about the sun. Yeah. Okay. I was just looking at it today and I couldn't tell because not, none of the nets are in The city either. did post something and it said pickleball and tennis, and I think that was a misprint because it's not tennis, it's just pickleball. Just pickleball. Yeah. Yes. Because someone asked me, like, we can play tennis. I'm like, nope, you can't play tennis there. Like, the but, nets you know, are but Silver, Silver Lake. Lake has, yeah. 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 Yes. Um, as uh, Ingrid mentioned before, um, this final snowy is up at Dorothy Park. So since this has been uh, created by Public Works, they did pour the concrete pad and it is in place. So all the snowies are out too. So if you haven't seen them all, I would go check them out. Um, they are installing a small storm water catch basin at Casey. Um, I guess there's an area near the lake where there's some standing water on the trail. So they are working on fixing that. And then um, we talked about last meeting that they installed some rubber mats under some of the swings throughout the city. Um, seems to be working out really great. So nice. 
um, no issues there. Um, my other update for today um, is actually going to be something that will be upcoming. Um, I have been tasked with looking at our memorials program that we currently have for, like we talked about, the benches, the tables, the trees, the plaques, all of that. Um, and the fees have not been... Uh, what we're charging the public right now is less than they actually cost us. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going through, um, going to be realigning that and seeing what other cities do as well. Um, and seeing if we're in line, if we're doing way too many options for people. It looks like my preliminary research, nobody else is offering picnic tables as memorials. So why are we? So I'm doing some analysis, um, and I hope to bring that back at the next meeting, if not the one in August, um, and we can discuss it and see how we want to move forward. Awesome. Yeah. Good. That's all I have. Hey, uh, and the public works covered that too? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. Reports, commissioners. We, okay. I'm going to start with Sarah. Anything? No reports. Laura? Uh, um, I just, I talked to Sarah about this before the meeting started, but wanted to put this on the notes as well. I was talking with the Arts Commission um, about how Autumn Arts Fest was going as far as planning. And in the changeover of um, us having an events planner in the city and that person leaving and a new person starting, um, Autumn's Arts Fest, for the, like it's still moving forward, it's still okay. But I, I had thought that the Arts Commission took back over the planning of that. And it sounds like they haven't or we're like figuring out what that's gonna look like going forward. So I just wanted us all to know in case people were assuming that they were on it, they were work. There were they're working on it in partnership with the city. Um, Sarah said that it would be beneficial to have us do some vendor recruitment uh, for the event. Vendor by like sellers or sellers. like food trucks or what? No, food trucks are good. Okay. It, we need. We're going to need some more volunteers, and I said that we can reach out to the school later in the summer, but. It's not going to make sense now. And then recruitment of vendor sellers. So if you know people who may be interested in selling at the autumn. Do we know how many? Because they we were telling like me 18. at the concerts in the park, oh, I thought they said 40-something. Okay. No, they, we have 19 that have applied, 17 have paid, and are all ready to go. So Okay. And last year we had like 30-ish. So if you know of people, like put a bug in their ear for that. And then volunteer-wise, like I said, we'll be able to tap the students at the high schools, but not until later in the summer. Um, but if you know someone who might be interested in volunteering, also just put that out there as well. Could you resend the link to our North St. Paul email with like where to apply, and then I can help at least post it on um, some of the Minnesota vendor pages, and then the North St. Paul Friends seems to work yeah. out well. Absolutely. I can do that. Awesome. Anything else, Laura? I don't think so. Right. Sorry, I didn't mean to go back to me, but I was at concerts in the park, Sue and I, but maybe when it gets to Sue, she can report on it. No, go ahead. Go nope, ahead. Sue okay. was there too. I'll let right. her. Uh, one question about planning improvements for next year. When are we going to think about doing that? Uh, do we want to start talking about that next week? Next month? Your next month, yes. Yeah, I can add that yeah? to the agenda. Okay. That'd be great. Okay. Are, did you just say park improvements for next year? Uh, where we go, which parks we're going to go to okay. next okay. or work with that. Yep. Wait, doesn't it make sense? We have to, shouldn't we get the open space plan approved first? Mm. Yeah, now that you say that, we Good probably point. should. Because so city, we'll a little bit. city council will have opinions, I think, on that. So we can get yes. that approved, which is July, maybe? It's, mm, or no, we're going to have to, it'll be August. Okay, so in August, after we have that information okay. and their feedback. Good point. And the other thing, too, is I should have mentioned this before, the park planning consultant, HGA, we have a meeting in the books with them for July 11th. So myself, um, community development, Riley Grams, uh, community development director, Riley Grams will be there. Uh, our city manager will be there, so we're all going to get back on the same page with that. Hopefully next year, then we'll be moving forward with them as well. Okay. So are we going to do any ceremony when our housing starts? I have been asking our city manager, so hopefully yes. Okay. Yes, okay. I'll be in touch about that too. Thank you. Yeah. That's all I got. Uh, Sarah, what, what day was that meeting again? Uh, July 11th. July 11th. Okay, thank you. So we should see if we can get a housing back. Yeah. It's snowy. Hello. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. 
Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. yeah. You'll pull out your roller desk and ask. <laughs> Sheila. Um, Walter Hauser's friends. Yeah. Timothy Stewart. Kind of volunteers but that might be kind of fun. That would be yeah, very absolutely. fun. I don't know if they'd even be interested. You know, they haven't lived here for a long time. There, sure. is, a, there is a plaque or a mount, monument. Mm -hmm. He actually farmed that park. Oh, really? Yeah. What <laughs> was a park? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Interesting. Mm. Um, well, the only, I wasn't, I, I actually forgot about I know, I did too. <laughs> I said something. <laughs> the concert in the park was, I think for the rain was well attended. There were maybe 20 people there. Yeah, it, I'd say in comparison to previous concerts in the park, it was a really light attendance, but the day had been raining off and on, as it has been, and then it was actually raining during the concert. It was. But this band, it was all country. I feel like um, the one thing I'll say is I feel like it's been really poorly advertised. I feel like I shared some stuff on like Janie's playground page that morning and other things. And like 10 people who came to that show came from my post. Like, oh, I'm so glad you said this, we're coming. Oh. And so if 10 of the 20 people came from something I posted that morning, it means nobody saw it. And even I had to remind myself, like I had it written on a calendar. So I don't know if there's a way that the city can boost some of these posts and just pay the $10 on Facebook to kind of shove this in people or someone from the city pushing this on like North St. Paul Friends or other things. Um, I just fear for the next two concerts, it would be nice to, because um, I feel like we had built a pretty, we were getting 50 yeah, to 60 yeah, people of, there last year, and the rain yeah, probably did a lot of this, but yeah. that band was, and I'm not a country, but they had they had every instrument known to man. I mean, it was a, they had a huge setup, and I felt so bad that they had 20 this people. huge thing, and tw you know, again, the rain, but um, I just, I think part of it was that I had a lot of people say, I didn't know this was going on. And I'm like, yeah, I almost forgot too. I had to dig on North St. Paul's pace, page, go to events, share it through there. And it's, um, um, yeah. Can I, it's funny that I'm going to say this because I don't know anything about, I'm not on social media at all, but it's such a good way to promote things. Um, shouldn't we just have like a, just a checklist of, you know, like any event that we're putting on, just, uh, just well, like. The thing is, if, they, da, da, if you da, recall da. the big, thing that happened a couple of years ago is we were stripped of the ability to post any of those. So it has to come from the city. That was one of the big things. Like we used to be able to advertise that ourselves as the park commission and we can't. Right. So the city has to do it. And that's why I'm saying well, it'd be a good checklist for the city to maybe see yeah, if, if park the, dollars to invest city, in advertising the, the art, the autumn mm -hmm. art festival, like these things to push out. So, cause then when people hit interested on Facebook, it reminds them like, hey, you know, this week you have these things yeah, and you're like, oh, right. I kind of forgot about that. And so I just think maybe we need to like spend a few dollars so it pops into people's, because it will, it will target the audience of people who live in North St. Paul or yeah. 10 miles around here. And so. You're talking about, I don't know, I'm pretty ignorant about this. You're talking about Facebook, you pay money and then you- It will market your event. It'll market your event for you, but it's low cost, like five to $10 and it will reach 5,000 people. Wow. Now, I mean, we put it on the sign, right? Like it goes on the sign that so people drive past. But see, I feel like it's everywhere. I, I feel like I see it everywhere. So I'm surprised that you're saying that people don't know about it. I don't see it. I mean, I see it on the sign as I drive by, yeah. if I drive by. Yeah. Um, but then, well, and it has to be, it has to be the right timing, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because if I drive by and then it's ever, you know, so I think it could be. Well, things I have a thought, you know, we advertise with yard signs for the booyah every year i think we could do something like that too but a little like, like a concerts in the park this thursday yeah we yeah use. that's not yeah. a bad idea yeah because mm -hmm. right now we got the same Low kind of signs up because it'd be nice to see them in other like because now that i live by the community center i don't drive past that anymore so like mm -hmm. i don't see anything on that side of town but i know we did that for the autumn arts festival we have signs for that and i think that helped that event a lot mm -hmm. which reminder to us to like dig those back out again when we oh, yeah, we have them out okay good <laughs> ready well, we could, maybe we that's could. a good idea maybe we use yeah. some dollars to invest in just like this thursday we don't mark you know that way we can reuse them or concert in the park tonight or you know and put well, three this, of them along casey this, or yeah, something you know Tuesday or yeah. whatever yeah. Yeah. whatever the day but maybe put them out in the parks uh a week before we yeah. only have a few I like that we're on a few street corners we used to do that yeah. for the splash and i do think that yeah. brought people so we do the same thing for the booyah 
So you might as well do it that way. That way people who aren't on the internet uh, that much, I'm not on social media at all. Yeah. Um, so it'd be sometimes people drive by, um, would say, oh, let's check that out. And then have something on the website. So if somebody wants to check it a little further, they can. Yes. I will say I can, I'll check into the yard signs so we can get pricing for next month and vote on them. And then we can continue using them year after year. This first one, I have to admit, landed at a weird time. We were transitioning between communications people. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, and so it's not sorry. anyone's fault and yeah. to <laughs> say. It just it, it, it also sprung on me that day. I'm like, oh, crap, concerts in the park. And it's because I looked at my calendar and I wrote it down like yeah. last month. I'm like, oops. Yes. And it was raining and I even had to message you and like, is this still going on? Because I got people <laughs> messaging, is this still going on? You know? Yes. It was just a victim of circumstance yeah like it just very much yeah. but Sarah do you do you think it's possible to have a little checklist of um, like if the city could let's say three three things that we you know I, I'm not even familiar we but made a huge we, check we made like a two-page event checklist no I mean but I mean uh, just the promotions thing a, a list of f yeah. five different posts you know same post that goes out to Facebook and it goes out to this and it goes out to that I can provide something, but I know our communications coordinator does have that. That she came in with like her own checklist of things that are working. Oh, okay. And so I I can provide it for sure if you guys yeah. want to see it. Yeah, but like yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Ooh, what else? Anything else? No. Nothing. David. Nothing. Ingrid. Uh, for oh, Silver Lake or Dorothy? Yeah. Thank you. Um, no, the the park is Silver Lake is getting used so much. Mm -hmm. um, it's just. I mean, there's fishing, there's boating, there's swimming, there's everything. Um, and it looks good. Uh, at one point, there was a strange dock, I think, that was over on the south side of the lake that had walked. Maybe it, maybe it was a part of somebody's dock that washed over. Do you know anything about that? I do know uh, we got calls about it, and our, uh, by the time our public works team came out, it was gone. So. It was gone. Yeah, okay. So I wonder if it was part of somebody's dock that it was windy and blew across. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, and then I, I did notice, I'm, I'm in it every day walking my dogs. So um, I did notice a tree that needs some attention. Um, so should I just contact Public Works? Should, what do you think? Oh, you is, can contact... I'm the admin for Public Works too, so okay. you can tell me. And I'll I can... talk to you after this meeting about what particular tree. It has some weird growth, and I can see a dead branch, and just needs some attention. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. Anything else? Otherwise, great. It's it's great. Motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. David, second. I second. Laura seconds. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? <laughs> oh, tight, man.